No, what, what we did was crawl uh, WhatsApp API. We found a tool on the internet, it's called WhatsApp. It's already a year out. It's, uh, WhatsApp knows about this tool, knows about this data leak, and has done nothing. The only excuse they've given is that it's already public data if somebody knows that number. And the tool only works if you know the number. But What's well, telephone number? You can generate those. That's what we did. We generated telephone numbers based on certain factors. And uh, uh, actually, the, the, the program What's Why is, uh, works like, like a telephone, uh, like the telephone app you have on your mobile phone. So you can actually you can probably send messages also. So that's, that's the impact that it has. Not really well prepared for this. Um, I did it in about 30 minutes to set the application up, so it's that easy. Um, so what we did, we created a small PHP script that just generated numbers, numbers based on certain uh, variables. We can generate a lot of numbers, yeah. a lot. But if you choose to, uh, in the Netherlands, for example, there are certain ranges that are mobile telephone numbers. So you need only those. So those are the first variables you need to check box. And we boost them to the WhatsApp application. Just HTTP get replaced. And then start the tracker that's in WhatsApp. And then it starts pulling the WhatsApp on the server. And then uh, the WhatsApp server, and then uh, we just get return data. Well, what they have we get, we get profile pictures. <laughs> and these profile pictures are usually made with the phone. And what happens when you make a picture with the phone, you usually get that geo, geo data. So you can correlate the, where all those pictures are taken, and even if they are mostly taken at home, then you can define where somebody lives. And you must think of this, this has a, a huge skill. Can I get a lot of data? You will see in a minute. Um, and we can track how you use it, was it when, how long, and uh, which intervals. So if you can correlate with many people, you can see probably who's talking together. Who talks with who? And like I said, it's that simple. It's just setting up uh, an, an AWS uh, VM. So, uh, crazy PHP uh, web stack, and you're good to go. So, that was the last slide I had. So, 